Ariel Helwani in Las Vegas for UFC 196 alongside Alir Latifi who meets John Volante this Saturday live on pay-per-view. Alir, it's good to see you and what a quick turnaround for you. We just saw you, you know, a few weeks ago in Boston. Was this something that you wanted? You wanted to stay busy and come right back and fight? I mean, you know, if I'm healthy and everything is good, you know, why not fight? You know, it's uh, it's good for me. It takes me to the to the next step, you know, closer to to the top. I understand this is your first time in Las Vegas, is that true? Yeah, it actually is, and uh, I really like Las Vegas. You know, it's since I was a kid, seeing Tyson fight here in MGM, it was like always a dream, you know, being here in the future and fighting. And now actually being here, it's like, it's a great feeling, you know. So was this something as you were climbing the ranks, you said, okay, this is a goal of mine, I want to fight in the fight capital of the world? Yeah, I always said, MGM and Madison Square Garden, yeah. I got to fight there, you know. Yes. I think a lot of people would like to fight there as well. Um, and it also seems like they're putting you in, in America more, the, the American cards. Do you like that as opposed to just being stuck on the European cards? Uh, yeah, I fight all over the world. I love fighting in the, in the U.S. and America because, uh, you know, the fan base here is, I have a big fan base here that's growing and uh, they need to see me fight more here, you know. Yeah. Um, I notice you don't have that Swedish tan right now. No. You have that Florida tan. Yeah. You've been training at ATT. Is that your new team now? Uh, no, I'm still with my team back in Sweden. That's my like uh, home hometown team. And when I'm back in Sweden visiting, I train with uh, with my team there. But right now, I've, I've been uh, I moved to Miami, training there with uh, my because my head coach. Uh, Sal Berisha, he moved from from Stockholm to Miami, mm. and uh, it was a natural uh, natural way to go with to go with him over there and train. So we train together over there, and we have a train with the American top team too. So now you live in Miami full time. Yes. Oh, and, and how do you like, as opposed to living in Sweden, how do you feel like it's helping you? Uh, I mean, it's it's great training there. Uh, we haven't made like big, big differences in our training, you know, but we adapt and we learn new stuff. But, you know, the weather is great, so uh, the body recovers good. And uh, I mean, you have the beaches and yeah. you have a different way of relaxing. That's nice. But still, you know, you have to put the hours of, of training and grind in every day. Correct me if I'm wrong. I felt like in Boston, you were in the best shape of your life. You look like a different man out there. Is that true? And if so, why? I mean, it's always, that's the shape I I should be, you know. But when I took my first fight, you know, you can never compare with that fight because sure. I had, hadn't trained for two months. I was at home and like, hey, you want to fight? The main, it was like, that's like out of a movie. Yeah. Doing what I did. So I wasn't trained. I was eating bad food and like cut so much weight. So, but this is how I should be and now every fight I've been like I've learned more I've been more professional with my diet and, and my training skills so every fight I try to be in better shape it's still one of the best stories that that story of you taking that fight on short notice against Gegard Mousasi do a lot of people still associate with you associate you with that or do you feel like you've created now your own history within I the mean, UFC of course people remember that because I mean nobody's ever done done it so they associate but still to see now the 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 other side of me you know the the, the evolving me and uh, that's nice you know be, being able to to give that to the fans what concerns you most about john volante uh you know he comes from from a great team a lot of great fighters and uh, he trains with good guys so i know he's a tough guy and actually i think he had a, li a little bad luck in the ufc you know he did great fights mm -hmm. and and some of them he should have won but he lost so he's a tough opponent he's he, he can like go the distance and brawl so uh, I see it as a very tough fight but um, I'm prepared I'm gonna go in and, and go for the finish like I always do and now you finally cracked the the rankings and it's wide open at light heavyweight how long in your opinion before we start talking about Alir Latifi the contender yeah I, 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 I've seen myself as a contender since I started you know but now I've been able to show it to the fans and uh, you know let's take this fight uh, on Saturday and I, I, I'm going for the win and then after that you know I don't see, a, see it far mm. seeing me as a, as a contender you know I know I can deliver that and I know I, I could give anybody over there uh, a great fight and win. Looking forward to it. Best of luck to you.